what's up, what's up, what's up? This is your man Hustle with the Source Magazine outside on a smoky, foggy, gloomy day in Southern California. And this is your Source Daily Dose. Now everybody across the country has been hearing about the California wildfires. And yes, it is a major situation. But the fires are no longer just contained in California. I mean, of course you have the El Dorado fire and now we have the Bobcat fire that just entered its way into the fight and it has already burned 41,000 acres. Only 3% of that fire has been contained. And that single fire is now threatening cities near Los Angeles like Arcadia and Pasadena. But that's not even the half of it. We are looking at wildfires from Oregon to Washington State as well as California. And the totality of all of these states, we're looking at a million acres of scorched land. Not to mention we're dealing with an air quality index above 200 in all of these places and an air quality index of 268 in Seattle, which is making it terrible, not only for residents, not only for athletes, but for every single person. And what are we expected to do when people out here are dealing with air quality issues along with COVID-19 issues and we already have limited space in hospitals? Governor Newsom has already told us, stay in the house until Sunday. Imagine being told you can't come outside simply because of air quality. The air is so thick that planes are not able to land. We're not able to see things miles away that we're typically able to see. And the only thing that needs to be understood is we all have to combat climate change. This is a climate change issue that is affecting old people, young people, and everyone in between. People are evacuating their homes, schools are burning, houses are burning, entire neighborhoods and history is burning to the ground. So if nothing else, say a prayer, donate what you can, but please lend your help. Once again, this is your man Hustle with the Source Magazine, and this is your Daily Dose.